Welcome to Let's Play Monopoly. So in today's game, it looks like I get to go first. And look at that, I already have a property. So does Arthur, but we're not going to let him keep it. Sorry, Arthur, we can't risk you getting that property. So, of course, no one watches, so uh, no one is telling me if you can get it cheaper. Get out of jail free. That is huge, especially in the beginning. If you go to jail, hey, you save fifty dollars. So there we go. It is three to nothing. Make that three to one. All right. So I get a seven. Phew, that was close. Did not want to use that get out of jail free card already. So Arthur gets a yellow. Phew, right in between boardwalk and park place. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's his turn to advance to go. Come on, does he really need to go to, to advance to go? Look at that. Wow, what a surprise. How about a four? Oh, I got a four. Oh, come on, I don't want a doctor's fee and lose $50. But alright, I will take that property. Arthur bought electric company. That's not good. I gave money to Arthur. Still need an orange. I definitely need a railroad. I will take that. And Arthur's twenty dollars. Hop on already. Six. All right, I own that property. So, come on. Why am I giving fifty dollars to Arthur? game that's not right oh but what is right is nice oh right so let's put hotels there i want to my house and press b now let's go to my hotel so i got my monopoly number one and hopefully arthur will land on it and they'll make that worth it instead of not worth it because you know i desperately Plus, I can't afford... Oh, good, I own that. There we go, $450. That is huge. Arthur only loses $250 because of go. But I profit $450. Still okay. Arthur can buy that. I can buy Indiana as well. And he can buy Kentucky. Alright, the prevent him from getting Monopoly number two. He still could get Boardwalk and Park Place. Ooh, that's not good. Arthur has a Monopoly on the utilities. Ooh, that's not good for Arthur. Let's see. He will instantly get out of jail. It's early, so it makes sense. Why did that... Oh, must clearly was a mistake. It, it didn't affect... I don't think it affected the recording. All right, so it is Arthur's turn to get an eight. So I, oh wow, I des now I desperately need New York Avenue. So let's see, he has to buy, he has to auction, so I'll buy it for $131. That is huge. Do I hear 135? No, because Arthur would have to mortgage something. And fortunately, they don't act like humans. <laughs> Come on, how is that fair? Set. Oh, I needed a six. And eleven. Not good. He still can't afford New York Avenue, so. But I can't afford it. Don't be coming back now. So I have to use that get it of jail free card, unfortunately. Yep, get out of jail free. Oriental. He owns this pro. How about a 12? $10. So, I will, unless I roll a 9, which I rolled a 7. So, let's mortgage Pacific Avenue in Connecticut to make the trade. Unfortunately, you would think that this wouldn't cost a lot of money. But sadly, it cost about $500 for a trade. 
I, I don't know. Like, it's just weird. So I will take five hundred dollars to prevent Arthur from getting a monopoly. Arthur, you took my money, so I'm not giving it back to you. And he gets a four, and he gets one railroad. Indiana, I own this property. Well, he would have missed, but it's all right. We don't. It's all right. We always take, you know. We always think it's good, even if he doesn't. Even if we end up getting New York Avenue. All right. So I have the mortgage, Marvin Gardens, and St. Charles Place to pay for it. There's railroad number two. Illinois, Indiana, St. James. Short line to pay for it. It's $50, so. Nearest utility, he owns both the utilities, so. Good, I'll take $200. Oh, come on! There goes the $200. Oh, he inherits $100. How is that? So there's one more railroad. It is Reading Railroad. It could be obtained via chance card. Or... This Illinois Avenue. I own that property. And Arthur will own that. Fifth Avenue. Let's see. He gets enough. Thank you, Arthur. $450. That is helpful. So let's unmoor the short line. Connecticut, St. Charles, St. James. Oh, I should have saved 75 for income tax. No. All right, that is good. How about a, a four? I mean, it's a St. Charles place. I own it, so. What a surprise. I end up getting New York Avenue. It's fine. It's worth it. They actually don't want him landing on Reading Railroad because he'll have to pass go. That means he can afford it. I, I mean, I'm probably going to end up with it anyway because I'll just trade in short line for it. Well, you're not getting a St. Charles place. How about five? Thank you. Fifty dollars. Now, alright, land on a property that can be Optioned. I guess I can stay there. I don't have to get it a jail-free card. So it looks like we're both stuck in jail. He gets a six. I get a seven. It doesn't look like... Unless, you know, I get... So unless it says... Oh no, that's... Hey, that's the chance card. Hopefully it's a good one. Twenty-five dollars. It's Okay. Arthur cannot pay his bill. He'll have to mortgage something. So he will mortgage Oriental Avenue and get the $50. Paid your debt. Thank you. And I got $16 in return. So let's land on a property that says A to buy or 7. Like, oh, not that. Huh? Arthur, he would like to trade. What does he want? He wants St. James Place. Well, he's not getting St. James Place. Why would I do it? So I get it for $27. That's a great price for Venter Avenue. Well, I could mortgage it and then profit. Wow, that is helpful. Oh, Marvin Gardens pay no rent. So let's auction it. Wow, $8 North Carolina Avenue. That is a good deal. $8, that's ridiculous. How about you land on Park Place? Oh, that is horrible. Park Place, $24. It's not the $8 that I just got. But 24 is not bad. Sold. Sold. 
So I believe Reading Railroad and uh, Venture Avenue is yet to be sold. That is not good. Especially since if I land on one of the two properties, it was very unlikely that I was actually going to land on it. So it looks like, oh, 14 to RFL. Oh, was that helpful? Oh, I'll take that $14 right back. Still two properties. I did get a second Monopoly because of that. 22 to Arthur. 28 to Arthur. $18 back. Well, just land. Or land on that chance card up there that says Double Railroad. I knew it. See, it doesn't really matter who gets it or. Sip again, we pay no rent. So it's on mortgage, Illinois Avenue. Five. Oh, well, there's no advanced to Baltic or Mediterranean card in there. But luckily, it was not the advanced to Reading Railroad card. So he would like St. Charles Place. Well, of course, he wants a Monopoly. Eight. You have Indiana I own this property. One to the five or a seven, but it's fine. So he needs a six. So he owns that property. Good, good. How about a two? You know, I like to get these properties sold. So, so I need a five or an eight. Now a three or a five. That's not a five. Yeah, no two or yeah. Three or six. So, I need a two. Oh, I, I've got double two, so twenty-five to Arthur. I mean, I eventually will land on the utilities. Hundred fifty dollars. So that's on mortgage, both the rows, and we direct in the positive. Good, I'll take 26 stuff. Well, I, uh, yeah, I got more from him landing on it than I did paying for it. Alright, maybe he won't. Well, hopefully, no, he will land on, you know, um, I've either of them, because then he won't be able to afford re the Reading Railroad. Well, he's not getting St. James Place. He goes, oh, why would I even do that? Well, he gets 12, so he's going to obviously profit. He will eventually unmortgage Oriental. So, this is his turn to get Nate. He owns that property. Six. Alright, so... Oh, he is near my Monopoly. He missed it. He missed Boardwalk and Park Place. That is a great Monopoly to have. And a six. Oh, come on, land on Baltic. You would lose more money. And not just break even. Ten. Take a ride in the reading. I'll take it. So, trade with Arthur. You give me Pennsylvania. I will give you short line. So, that is good. I, have, I got three out of the four railroads. How about a 30? And look at that. I would have had to give Arthur $25. That would have been good. Saving money, 7. Waterworks, he owns this property. Arthur would like to trade again. What does he want this time? He would like St. Charles Place. Uh, of course, why would I even consider taking that? Oh, come on, isn't it on all four of them? Would have lost 25 regardless. There we go, I get 26. That's an, uh, Arthur owes me an extra dollar. So, still one more property. Could have had 100, but it's to survive the double railroad card. 10 Arthur, 5. 
He landed on go, so he needs an eight. He got a ten. So alright, I roll a seven, give me money, more money to Arthur. That's good. One hundred dollars. That's why I bought it. That's why I bought it. Ten. Pay Arthur fifty. So let's put houses on boardwalk and park place now. So I can afford it now. That's it. Even with the second one. Take a walk on the boardwalk! Two hundred dollars. I'll take it. He's about to get that back, so. But I get two hundred dollars, so he needs a nine. Oh, he gave me two hundred fifty dollars. Thank you, Arthur. That was helpful. Now he needs a seven. Wow, Arthur, that was incredible. That was a string of bad luck. You landed on boardwalk two hundred, and then you landed on mine two fifty, and then you landed on luxury tax. So that's eight hundred fifty dollars. I understand that only six fifty go to me. He can't afford this. May hurt me, but I'll take it. Fifty nine. It did not hurt me. Fifty nine dollars. Bit of rip on it to the eight dollars, but hey, fifty nine for Vermont. All the properties have been sold. So, Arthur, this game will probably end shortly, especially if he decides to land on my Monopoly, and I don't land on his utilities. So, let's put the two more houses there. So, good job. Five. Seven good he owns that property. Hopefully, you know, they he will start mortgaging you. If he lands on it, which he did not, he has to mortgage something, but he'll have to mortgage one thing. What's he gonna mortgage? Short line. You received one hundred dollars. So he would have been nice had he landed on Boardwalk Park, but then he park was he would have had to oh, mortgage more. If he gets a five, he'll have to mortgage more, but I'll take one hundred dollars. Arthur finally landed on it. Hey, come on, he owns that. Wow, I just gave him hundred and eight dollars. Well, he just gave. I just basically gave him his money back from the railroad. So let's go to Tennessee. Go to town. I avoid elect electric company, I will buy houses. Even though, in technically, I could give Arthur 120. Double rip, $200. Thank you for, I don't know if that was your go money, per se, but I got $200. How about another, oh, nine, you own that property. Alright, Arthur, he will trade. What does he want this time? He would like St. Charles Place. Well, he's not getting it. So, let's see. There are three houses. So, Arthur... Oh, I don't have $400. Wow. So, Arthur will be eliminated. He survived his elimination roll and gained $400. Six. Good, I'll take that. He got an eleven. Now, I don't... I may, he may survive Park Place, but I'm not 100% sure about Boardwalk. Hey, you were... Oh, come on! Alright, I'm looking for Vermont. I can't believe I got assessed. $22, I'll take it. Chance looks like we both have... Properties you need to unmortgage. He gets a seven. Oh, all right. Didn't. Wouldn't have mattered. Yep, Arthur will not survive Boardwalk. But I believe he will survive Park Place. Because it's 1400 and he doesn't have enough money. Oh, come on. If you don't land, I don't want to end the game with a property mortgaged. 
<laughs> oh, look at that. 950. I believe he will now unmortgage. Yep, he's going to unmortgage these. Unmortgage short line. Wow, that is helpful for him. Yeah, I guess he wants to save money. Uh, 450. So I guess I'll pocket that $50. Six. And put two more houses there. So, you know, because there, there will be a limit if he lands on that. Now, it's definitely, even though he got all of that money. Hey, alright, so let's unmortgage Vermont. Let me show how to get hotels there before Arthur lands on them, and then the game is over. So let's roll. I got a four. I still need a hundred fifty dollars. All right, Arthur. Eleven. I get an eleven. So his game is over. All right, all right. The game is over. So I have won. So I will see you in the next video.